All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of the Pulse Jet Argus mod being made by forum user Pagan Scorpion. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a series of Pulse Jet engines for you to use with your aircraft. And well, that's just wonderful. Now, I actually saw this mod originally when it first released. A little bit ago now, I think like maybe two months or something like that, and it only had one singular engine, being the Pulsejet Argus AS014, which if you remember your history was the engine that powered the V1 rocket, and well, it was a very, very cool engine, but sadly, that was the only thing in the mod pack, so I figured, you know, I'd keep it in my back pocket, wait and see if there were any improvements or additions, and lo and behold, we now have several engines in this mod pack, three in total, so I figured, what the heck, let's finally take a look at it, so let's jump into the space plane hangar and take a look at what all this does add into the game. Now, of course, since we are on the space plane hangar, let's grab ourselves a cockpit today, rather than our typical capsule. And then, of course, head down to the Engines tab, where the three parts for this mod live. And the first one we're going to take a look at is, of course, the original engine from the mod, the Pulsejet Argus AS014. Now, let's just pop that baby on here, and overall, not exactly the most exquisite model in the world, but it is accurate to what it's supposed to be. It is a Kerbal Space Program replica of the Argus AS014 engine, which was used on the V1 flying bomb. And to that end, that's pretty darn good. Looks the part. And I do like how even though it is a historical part, they didn't try and go like uh, realistic with the texturing. They stuck stock alike, which I do enjoy. And it's one of the problems I have with a lot of the historical mod packs out there. They try and go a bit more realistic with them, but eh, I'm a fan of stock alike parts. But overall, nice looking engine. We have the built-in air intake here on the front, and of course the uh, back end where the pulse jet comes out of. Good times, good times indeed. Now as for the stats of this thing, pretty standard sort of stuff. Alternator, power generation, all of that. But as for the engine's actual power, it has a max thrust of 30 kilonewtons and uh, stationary thrust of, of course, 30 kilonewtons. Engine ISP is 9600 atmosphere and 9600 vacuum. Though I don't know why I'm mentioning the vacuum, considering it needs an air intake. You're not going to get that air intake in space. So let's just ignore that second ISP and head down to the propellants, which it does sip fuel at a daintily little 0 0.064 per second on the liquid fuel and requires air intake of 0.446 per second. Overall, a pretty nice engine that does not use a lot of resources. It's also, of course, not gonna go extraordinarily fast, but you know what, with how little fuel it uses, uh, a plane powered by this will stay up in the air for quite some time. Now, the next engine that we have on offer is the next step up from the AS014, and that's the AS044. Now, this was the later model of the Pulse Jet that they put on the V1 flying bomb, and rather than the sort of circular in air intake, they had a square air intake, but beyond that, pretty much a carbon copy of the previous engine, though this one with a bit more power. It has, of course, 50 kilonewtons of thrust and an engine ISP of 9600. Now, with that increased power does, of course, mean additional propellant used, so it uh, drains a little bit more uh, liquid fuel at 0.106 per second and requires air intake of 0.744 per second. But overall, I'd say still a pretty good engine, pretty nice and efficient, and uh, I'd say for that 20 kilonewtons extra thrust, I, I'd, I'd say that that's a pretty uh, fair use of liquid fuel. So let's just drop that one and then take a look at the final part of this parts pack, and that is the Lauren Sanger Ramjet engine, which is currently just sort of a test engine for now. And it is, though, a quite cool ramjet uh, based off of the sort of early technology for a ramjet engine. Now, this confused me with its current shape. You'd think that this was the air intake and that this is where the flames came out. But no, you'd be wrong. I built the plane when I was first testing it out like this, and then I noticed, oh wait, the flame is shooting out that end, and my craft is now slowing down really quickly. So, <laughs> so yes, this actually is the correct orientation of this. Uh, you do need it to be 
uh, having the flame out this end instead of uh, out at that end. So yeah, I originally had it when I was testing it flipped around like so, which is not going to help you. And uh, yes, this particular engine though has quite a bit more thrust at 143.751 kilonewtons, but of course that is after it's gotten up to speed. It is a Ram air jet engine, so of course you have to be already going a little bit fast for it to actually function. Now as for propellant, it doesn't use really that much fuel, but much more fuel than either of these pulse jets down here. And it consumes a 0.255 liquid fuel per second and requires 1.785 air intake per second. And of course, the same sort of engine ISP of 9600. Overall, a pretty, pretty nice little engine. And uh, again, nice and stock alike. Once more, not the greatest of models, but these are all based off of early sort of jet engine prototypes. So they aren't the most unique looking of things, but they are quite functional. So let's take a look at some aircraft that I've been playing around with this. We'll test out the ramjet engine first, because of course it is the one that is the most difficult. So let's go to the Argus ramjet here, load that craft up, and you'll notice that I do have it in that orientation. Like I said before, I had them flipped around and <laughs> that doesn't help the with the engine pointing the wrong direction. So let's go to fly this thing. Now you'll notice on the back end, once this does load up, that I've got a crap load of those little sort of, oh god, I always forget the name of these little things, the little Separatron 1 rockets, because of course we're just trying to show this off and test it out, so we have to get this engine up to speed, because if I try to turn this engine on right now, it just flames out sparks and we got nothing, because it needs a lot more air intake to actually function. So let's start up all these little rockets. Boom, there we go. That'll help us get to speed. And the engine is starting to sputter into life. Let's throttle it, throttle it up all the way. Turn on our SAS, which I forgot to do earlier. And there we go. Pretty standard sort of little jet engine. Uh, nothing too special on the particle effects or the sounds. It's pretty typical of any of the jet engines in the game, which is a little sad. I was hoping for maybe a little bit more interesting of sound effects, but it is a jet engine after all. Not really much you can do with it. Uh, but overall, a very, very good little Ram jet engine. Not exactly the most powerful of ones that we have seen in the past, but a lot easier to get going. If you remember the last Ram jet engine I looked at, oh boy, I had a hard time getting that thing to actually work. This one's a bit easier because, again, it's based off of older, sort of earlier technology. But that uh, that's pretty much all we need to look at for the Ram jet engine because we, we are starting to slow down, actually. So let's revert flight back to space plane hangar and then load up the Argus, hmm, which should we look at next? Yeah, the AS-014, the original engine from the mod. So there we go, similar little aircraft, actually identical, except minus the little separatrons. And let's take this baby out to fly. And you'll notice a very fun thing on this one and why I really have fallen in love with this little pulse jet engine is the sound. If we throttle up and take off, I will be quiet for a second so you can hear it. There you go, you get that really cool rumbling sound to it that's just wonderful. Because again, it is a pulse jet engine. It's, you know, pulsing. And I, I just absolutely love the sound. It's so much more unique than the typical jet engines we tend to see in this game. And it's just, it's just wonderful. I really do enjoy it. Though I have a feeling if I was flying with this thing for a long time, it would probably get on my nerves, but hey, that's why you have volume knobs on your headphones. And yes, that is the AS-014 engine. Quite a nice little engine, and again, because of how much it just sips fuel, you can pretty much fly this thing for ages and ages, and you'll be good to go. But that, I think, is enough of that particular one. Let us load up the last of the engines, the Argus AS-044, which is just here. There we go, and we'll take it off. Again, very similar to the AS-014, just with the rectangular, or well, really square, air intake on the front. And being a pulse jet engine, you still get that nice rumbling sound to the back end. If you've got bass, turn it up, boy, it's gonna be fun. Ah, yes. 
I really do love that rumbling sound. It's just so great. And this one, of course, getting us up to speed a bit more quickly than the AS-014 being a slightly faster engine. And yeah, overall, it'll get us up to a better top speed and letting us have a little bit more fun with our flying around. And who doesn't want that when you are flying in your planes? But yes, that is really it for this mod pack. Being only three engines, not exactly a whole lot to go over. But even though it is just three engines, it is a whole lot of fun, and I just love the sort of custom sound effect to this particular mod being with the Pulse Jets, and their cool design being of the old, of course, 40s, and, well, overall, just a fun little pack of engines. So if you would like to give it a try for yourself, which I definitely would suggest you do, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. And, uh, yeah, if you make any cool ships with these engines, I would love to see it. So, you know, tweet me, Facebook, pics, whatever you want to do. And I hope, of course, you do enjoy this mod and have enjoyed this episode. And, of course, that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.